Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Elder Scrolls Online. Today, we are finally in East March. And honestly, I'm pretty excited. You know, East March is one of my favorite zones in the game, essentially. And, um, yeah. Um, and, um, we're gonna do this zone and then this zone and i think oh i have um treasure map uh essentially uh once i get to the rift then i will be able to um start the um uh um well um, uh, Mage's Guild and Fighter's Guild, so, anyways. Hello. Can I, welcome to Windhelm. You're just in time for the celebration. If you don't mind me saying so, you look pretty capable and good in a fight. Just the sort of individual that Thane Mera is looking for. Who's Thane Mera? Thane Mera Stormcloak. She keeps the city running and oversees the Windhelm Guard. That makes her extremely busy, especially now. What with the Conan Liker and the Ebonheart Pack delegates and all. Well, Ebonheart Pack delegates are here? Of course. In addition to attending the Conan Liker, the Pack leaders have important business to attend to. Important business. Now hurry along. You can find Thane Mera at the center of town, right in front of the Palace of Isgrimmel. I'll go and speak to Thane Mera then. I'm sure Thane Mera will appreciate your assistance and your discretion. Who are you exactly? Oh, many apologies. I'm the Ebonheart Pact Envoy in Windhelm. I've lived here for some time now. I can honestly say that I know all of the city's movers and shakers. If you need anything, anything at all, I'm the one to ask. You mentioned a celebration. Yes, yes. The Conan Liker. The Nords are very proud of their celebrations, and this is a big one. They want to prove that even though the Akaviri damaged the city, Windhelm is still a beautiful and vibrant place. What's the Conan Liker? That's what the Nords call this celebration. The entire city is celebrating King Joran's 10th anniversary as the Skald King. Nord clans have come to Windhelm from across Skyrim to compete in various challenges to honor the king and his reign. You mentioned damage, damage to the city. The Akaviri hit Windhelm hard during the invasions. Most of the damage has been repaired, but work continues on the palace. King Joran insisted that the rest of the city should come first, so the palace was the last thing worked on. Fair enough. Welcome to win. This is the life, eh? Your timing is impeccable. I'm not sailing. No. <laughs> um. Yeah, hey, blacksmithing increased.
Hey, are you buying? Someone got murdered. You look strong and capable. Good in a fight and brave enough to travel the world in search of adventure. If my assessment is even close to correct, I could use your help. You need the Conan Liker. The great games to honor the reign of King Yorin fills the city with mirth and good cheer. When a new king survives to his tenth year on the throne, we celebrate. But not everyone who has come to Windhelm is in a festive mood. What's wrong? The Stormfist clan hasn't been seen in a decade, but they return for these games. Since then, there have been numerous injuries and a few deaths, and I fear worse things are to come. The clan stays at the Cold Moon Inn. See what you can learn. All right. What do you? Why do you? Do you suspect the Storm of Fist clan? We don't like to talk about it, but Yorin wasn't the unanimous choice to ascend the throne. The Storm Fist clan backed his challenger, and they have been associated with ill omens ever since. Discretion is called for. Hence, an outsider like you. Who's the? Who was the challenger? Yorin's brother, Fieldgore. He desired the throne. Normally, succession is determined by the crown of Freydis, but there were... complications. Anyway, the brothers fought, Yorin won, and Fieldgore was exiled. End of story. Or so we thought. Enough. Mm -hmm. Conan Liker continues, if such a name could be given the to the celebration of a false king, the Stormfist clan participates in this farce so I can deliver my lord's message to, a cur to the cursed Yorin. And so I can see his face as realization sinks in like a dagger in his heart. While I would normally find cheating unacceptable, these games have no honor. We must act quickly. I have hidden hidden caches throughout the city. Members of the clan can use the contents against other competitors. These are four caches hidden where our bro clan bro brothers and sisters can find them. I have recorded their locations in the following verses: between a moon that's cold and a wizard and a wizard's horde, behind a cracked and stone west and and breezy. At the rear of Windhelm's only upstanding Nord, where, where Mount and Mare rest and and rest calm and easy. The other one, last one, is actually pretty simple. It's the stables, I think. Of course, it just, you know, tells you where, where, where everything is. Hold on. I hope you've got deep, loose pockets. What 
do you want? The room is spinning. Cheers for the Scald King! Just one more. Did you bring more wine? You've been gone for a while. Tell me you found something useful. I found these notes and weapon caches hidden around the city. Cheating at the Conan Liker and the Stormfist clan. They haven't caused this much trouble since. Oh no, this is worse than I feared. We need to determine what's really going on here. While you were completing your mission, another competitor was injured. One of my best. The champion of Windhelm. This just got personal. I have another task for you, if you're willing. What do you need me to do? I want you to enter the next event, the Foot Race of the Nine Holds. I name you Windhelm's new champion. That should confuse our enemies. If you're willing, go talk to the race organizer, Lenning. He's along the Western Wall. Speak to Lenning at the Western Wall, then. Hurry! Speak to Lenning the Hawk and enter the race. If you're not participating in the race of the Nine Holds, please stand back. I'm the new champion of Windhelm. I see. Thane Mara is playing her political games again. No matter. As the last racer to arrive, you get to light the starting flare. Get ready. The race begins as soon as you ignite the flare. What are the rules? Rules? Haven't you ever ran a race before? You have to run along the outer walls of the city and must pass through each of the nine towers along the walls. One for each hold in Skyrim. The first racer to pass through the ninth tower wins the event. I don't know you. Do I know you? <sighs> Thanks. It's the rare soul who stops to help an opponent. What happened to you? Treachery. An orcish arrow. Poisoned. I drank a potion, but it didn't help. I'm finished. I can help you. It's too late for me. You need to listen. I saw where the assassin fled. To the south, away from the city. They must be hiding nearby. Avenge me, champion. Avenge! <laughs> any trouble and you'll be sorry. Oh, 
What happened to you? You were doing so well. Why'd you stop running? One of the racers were mu was murdered. Another murder? In broad daylight? Thane Mara just left and she wants to speak to you. And she needs to hear about this anyway. Hurry and meet her in front of the palace. I'm not sure what to do here. Well, you know what? If I get a bounty. All right. Well, you know what? Yidus. Ah, it wasn't a bounty. of I don't believe it. what a race I saw some of it and I was informed of the outcome I have eyes throughout the city of course Hedring was attacked during the race. I had a chance to speak to him before he died. Another blasted attack. You showed compassion, abandoning the race to aid another. Empathy is worth as much as strength, in my opinion. Now about Hadring. We need to find his killers and bring them to justice. Someone must have seen something during the race. The assassins fled after their cowardly attack. But every rat has a hole to hide in. You must find that hole. I don't want you to just find the assassins. I want you to hunt them down like the rabid dogs they are and dispatch them with haste and extreme prejudice. Do we understand each other, champion? I understand perfectly. I'm taking the gauntlets off and granting you the authority to do whatever is necessary to deal with these assassins. I name you as Justice Karl of Windhelm. Dispense your authority as needed, and deal with this as quickly as you can. Hadring told me where the assassins went before he died. Well done. I'll mobilize the guard to prevent any more storm fists from getting into the city. Go south and find the assassins. Bring me back something I can show to King Yorin to let him know we've taken care of this problem.
time to party hardy. Hello, friend. How long has it been? You remember Rigert the Brash, leader of the glorious expedition for Nord Cultural Exchange? <laughs> it is good to see you again. You are just in time to help. What can I do to help? I return triumphantly from glorious mission to Dark Elf lands, and Thane Mera put me in charge of Scald King's big party. You like a good party, she says. Of course, I say. No one parties like Rigert. <laughs> Turns out whole thing is mammoth dung. What do you mean? The pickled fish from Lower Yorgrim and the mead from Volyars have not yet arrived. Worse, my dark elf assistant never returned with my fancy Dunmer clothing from Mornhold. Everything goes wrong, and I am stuck here doing organizing things. I can check on the things for you. You do a great service for Rigert. Rigert knew he could count on you. Ask anything, friend. Ah, pickled fish. I'm sorry, you make Rigert's mouth water. We place the order for steamy fish with fishermongers in Lower York. Oh, I leveled. Cross the bridge south of here and follow the shore east to the village. Finest mead in all of Skyrim comes from Volyar's meadery. Go out the gates and cross the bridge. Then follow the road west along the river to get there. I sent my worthless assistant to retrieve fancy Dunmer garb from my vault at the bank. It's in the north part of the city. You can't be too careful with your fancy pants, right? <laughs> anyway, he never came back. Go look there for time. Dignity! What utter... What... Who, who are you? Leave me alone! I'm not doing anything! Oh, such embarrassment and folly! It's a horror perpetrated against the dignity of Dunmer culture! What are you talking about? I'm talking about the clothes! These rags? They're a horrendous joke! And Rigged plans to meet the ambassador wearing them? Oh, it's an incident in the making! I will not have it! I'm doing Rigert a favor.
The guards found more caches of weapons hidden around the city, but nothing else. I hope you had better luck. I found a camp outside the city. You should see these. King Yorin's exiled brother Fieldgor used to run the Stormfist Brigade. That's his symbol added to the Stormfist emblem. And these orders. Fieldgor has returned to Skyrim. King Yorin must be told. Hopefully it's not too late. Fieldgor is King Yorin's twin brother. When Queen Nernhill fell in battle, the brothers joined forces to defeat the Akaviri. But then they fought over the throne. Yorin won the day and exiled his brother. Now Fieldgore has returned. What does Fieldgore want? What does any exile want? Needless to say, to announce his presence in this manner can't bode well for King Yorin. The final event has started in the Hall of Trials. I'll send guards to the camp. You need to go to the Hall and help the King. I'll protect the King. Hurry, to the Hall of Trials. You must protect King Yorin at all costs. <laughs> Your prowess is impressive, champion. Come up My here king. so that the Stormfist cheated. <laughs> These Nords have been poisoned. Your brother Fildgor sends his greetings, false king. He wants you to know that he has returned from exile to claim what is his by birth and by right. Your rule is over, pretender. Prepare to die. Poison, Fildgor. What is the <laughs> meaning of this? Guards! Seize that woman! For Fildor! For the rightful king of Skyrim! Show no mercy! Stormfist bastards did their worst, yet I'm still alive, <laughs> thanks to you. This was a message from my brother, one I wasn't meant to survive. I feared this day would come. 
Are you all right, King Yorn? A mere scratch. <laughs> Nothing more. The Stormfist clan's assassins are dead, and that's good enough for me. I guess I become too complacent. While Fildgore's hatred has obviously deepened and fested. Your brother hates you. After dear Nurnhild fell in battle, my brother and I threw back the invaders. Afterward, we disagreed on who should succeed our sister. I believed in diplomacy and wisdom. Fildgore believes in rule by force. I couldn't let him take the throne. Why has Fildgore returned? When I won the throne, I was forced to exile Fildgore. He never forgave me for that. So I assume he returned to take the throne. I wonder what he has promised his Stormfist and Orc allies. I need to think about this. Please tell Thane Mira that I'm fine. Okay. You're back. Tell me, is King Yorin well? King Yorin sent me to tell you he's fine. That's good to hear. You don't know how relieved I am by this news. You risked your life even though you had no duty to uphold or vow to keep. To me that makes you the champion of the day. While you were aiding the king, a runner arrived from Fort Morvenskar. The fort is under attack. Fieldgore and the Stormfist clan are certainly behind the attack. It can't be mere coincidence. Windhelm must be protected, but we can't abandon the fort. Fieldcore's launching multiple attacks. It makes sense strategically, but we weren't prepared for this. We weren't expecting to fight a war while the pact leaders were in council. I need your help. Captain Hamar sent the runner. Report to him. Find out what's going on at the fort. Okay. You upheld my honor and the honor of Windhelm. This Ebonheart Pact is worth more than I hoped. May all your enemies fall before you. You. Come on, help us out here. We have deadlines to meet. You know the rules. No one's to All right, so I need to get a couple items from Lower Yogrim and... Shame indeed. Greetings. What brings you to my pier in the middle of this disaster? I'm looking for pickled fish for the Col Conan liker. Sure, Spones. Uh, what with the giant attack and all, I completely forgot about all that. My sincerest apologies. Here you go. I'm surprised you can spare any fish. <laughs> it's pickled fish. No one actually eats this stuff. It's more of a tradition than a food group. I've even seen a starving horker refuse to eat these stinky fish. It might be good for keeping the wolves away, though. Fair enough.
I thought I was done for. Watch your step around here. Stupid storm fists. Stupid orc thane. What a mess they made. What are you talking about? Field gore orc thane and his storm fists. Nothing but cowards and thieves, if you ask me. Soldiers are supposed to be honorable, noble. But they slaughtered the Volyar family. They killed unarmed civilians. And they killed my brother's wife. Why did they slaughter the bullyars? They wanted free mead. Can you believe it? Savages, the lot of them. My brother Heraldar plans to get the meadery up and running again. If you want to lend a hand, talk to Heraldar. He's over by the farmhouse. All right. I've got to get the meadery open again. I made a promise. Your brother said you might need some help. You picked a bad time to visit Volyar's meadery, friend. It used to make the sweetest mead you ever tasted, but that was before the Orc Thane's thugs showed up demanding free mead. Their leader got angry and lost control. He killed the Volyar family. All right. More than you know. They killed my wife, Inga. She was old man Volyar's daughter. I plan to reopen the meadery. My brothers came to help. We need to get rid of the storm fists and gather the ingredients Rorald needs to start fermenting mead again. I'll lend a hand. I'm a farmer, not a fighter, and the place is still crawling with Fildgore's thugs. Maybe you could get into the meadery and make sure it's safe. Once inside, grab the recipe book and some fragrant herbs and rare spices. We'll follow behind you. Welcome to Volyar's meadery. Please excuse the mess. Sorry. We had some trouble, and there hasn't been enough mead to fill the order. I'll get it on a cart as soon as possible. Here, take this bottle. It's my way of apologizing for the delay. What kind of trouble? You need to ask Halder about that. I just filled the orders. He's right outside if you haven't spoken to him already. I am ready to start making mead. I will be, when we can get back in the meadery. It's important to Haralda that we get this place back in business as soon as we can. I don't want to let him down. I apprenticed to a brewer when I was young. How different can it be from brewing ale? The Volyar recipe books are extensive. I can just follow them. I do plan to add my own flair to the process, however. Fair enough. I've got to get the... I've got to get the meadery open again. I made a promise. My wife loved this place. It's been in her family for generations. I want to keep the tradition going to honor her memory. My four brothers came to help. I'm grateful, but they aren't always as useful as I'd like them to be. No. No other name would fit. Mugs of Volyar's mead have been raised to seal bargains, toast brave Nords, and end challenges for hundreds of years. We plan to continue that tradition. No. Inga and I live near solitude. She came to visit to help her parents prepare orders for the Koninlika. She wrote to me and said there was trouble. By the time I got here, it was too late.
We followed you, and Iraldar dealt with the remaining stone fists before heading back out. The meadery is completely secure now. Rorald is already at work downstairs. We want to start filling orders as quickly as we can. I collected the recipe book, recipe book, herbs, and spices. Thank you. This has been difficult, but I'm grateful. Rorald muttered something about honey and giants. If you're up to it, I'm sure he could use your help to get his first batch of mead started. I'll see what he needs. As soon as we're up and running, you can have all the mead you can drink. Oh, by the way, have you met my twin brother Eroldar yet? Nope. Eroldar's outside somewhere. He hates losing, and I know he wants a crack at the orc bastard that killed my Inga. If you see Eroldar, make sure he isn't in over his head. Fen should be along shortly. I just wish I knew where Bjorald was. The bees are too agitated. They must be calm to produce the most flavorful honey. The stone fist ruffians chased a giant across the road right into my beehives. It's scaring the bees, and frightened bees make bitter honey. You need to get rid of that giant before anything else goes wrong. I can deal with the giant. Wait, it's coming. Another one of my brilliant ideas. There! <sighs> And that is why Heralda made me the master mead maker. Use the bees against the giant. Just kick a beehive. The bees will go after the biggest target out there, the giant. Well, it was just an idea. And a rather good one, too. Oh, I know. Let me splash you with this. It smells like smoke and ashes. The bees hate it. Now you shouldn't have any bee problems. Thanks, I guess. Oh, blast. If I hadn't taken a dagger in the ribs, I'd deal with these damn storm fists myself. You must be another one of the Snow Peak brothers. I'm the tough one. I've taken down some of the Stormfist soldiers, but their leader, Kazok, still lives. He's the one that killed poor Inga. As long as he's alive, these bastards won't leave. Someone needs to plant Kazok's head on a pike. I can help you with that. Kazok's camp is up the path behind the barn. Take out more of his troops along the way, and that ought to make Kazok angry enough to appear and face you. And when he shows up, kill him. Then we can stick his head on one of these pikes. Gruesome, but probably effective. I'll take care of it. An orc head on a pike will be great for business. It shows that this meadery is safe and that the snow peaks are as tough as nails. Chickens. Yeah. <laughs> 
axe hungers for blood. I saw the whole thing. Well done. I wish I could have helped, but you had everything under control. Meet me down near the barn. We need to stick this ugly head on a pike. Can't wait to tell Haralda that this Kazok bastard is dead. Nothing yet, but it needs to get stuck on one of these pikes. That's where it belongs. You should do the honors. It's only fair since you defeated him and all. That should put the fear of Shore and the rest of those Stormfist lackeys. Very well, I'll do it. Ha! Huh. That is a thing of beauty. Kazok's head never looked better. I hope that sends the message you wanted. It might be ugly, but nothing says security like an orc's head on a pike. Haralda will be pleased that I, uh, um, that we took care of Kazok. It's small comfort for the loss of his wife, but he'll appreciate anything that helps the meadery. Now we can put this meadery back together again. Thanks. I'm the official Greeper. I, I mean Greeter. Welcome to Volyar. <laughs> How are the bees? And you brought me its toe. I was only joking about that, but thank you. I started organizing things here. I don't suppose you ran into my brother Briorl, did you? He looks like me, but he's not as smart. I sent Bjorl to get a barrel of apple blossom honey from the barn. He probably got lost. But I need that honey to make more meat. Could you get the honey? And if you see Bjorl, send him this way. He needs to deliver these casks to Windhelm. What do you think mead is? It's fermented honey. The flavor changes depending on the honey, spices, and herbs used in the process. It's a delicate balance to get it just right. You can try some when you come back. Okay. and quiet for a while. Brigands, overbearing brothers, too much honey. I need more sleep. Oh, I was having the most wonderful dream about a bear. You're supposed to deliver me to Windhelm. Oh, all right. I'll get back to work. I just need to rest my eyes for a few more moments. Speaking of bears. Okay. No, no, no.
have lots of ideas for new flavors of mead. I just need to find more suppliers of spices and herbs. Here's honey you wanted. Wonderful. I'm sure it will make a delightful mead. And another batch is ready. I would be honored if you'd be the first to taste it. Oh, a touch of this, a bit of that. Just take a good long swallow. See if you can taste the subtle notes of Alakia spice, wildflower honey, and late summer herbs. Pass the fuck out. <laughs> Look who's finally up and about. My head hurts. You really can't hold your mead. Rorod's latest batch must have been pretty potent. The Volyar name has always stood for fine mead. In memory of my wife, we plan to continue that tradition. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Welcome back, my most excellent friend. How goes the hunt? Excellent, and just in time, too. We must welcome most important foreign dignitaries to Windhelm. Here, a set of cultural garb just for you. Please, put these on. I am ready to receive ambassadors in style. Ladies can't resist cultural garb. <laughs> Get dressed. Meet me by the docks. They're fucking hideous. <laughs> They're hideous, I'd say. Hideous, I say. Here, <laughs> and you are all fancy. <clears throat> oh, all cultural and everything. Are you drunk? What? No, of course not. Well, maybe a little. The meat you brought looked so good. I took a teeny swig to calm my nerves. I can't help it if the bottle was so small. Being master of ceremonies is hard work. I bet King Yoren drinks plenty. Don't be silly. Here come the dignitaries. <laughs> now, look casual and dignified. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Welcome to bustling city of Windhelm for King Yoren's amazing Kornan Liquor celebration. We greet the ambassadors of the glorious Dark Elf and Argonian nations with stinky arms and open fish. Let Rigert be the first to welcome... Uh, one moment, please. Let me just check my notes. Ambassador Flies of Steel 
and ambassador <laughs> of <Norma>. <laughs> 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 steel. How amusing. King Joran sent his court jester to receive us. Bravo! Bravo, I say. What an interesting form of greeting. I may never truly learn to understand the dry skins. Perhaps we should head to the inn, you know. <laughs> yes. Cracking suggestion. Perhaps they'll have something other than that. What is that awful Nord beverage? Oh, yes. Mead. <laughs> that fits amazingly well. Oh, I think. Not so sure. <laughs> Nonsense. You worry too much, my friend. This is going to be the best corn liquor ever. <laughs> now, please take this. It's a gift for all your hard work. Brigitte insists. Oh, boy. What time is it? Do I want to do a delve right now? That's the question. Or a public dungeon. Okay, I can get rid of this. Yeah, uh, why the fuck not? I'll do the public dungeon and then end the episode here. Or, or in the episode after that. Today, three sloppy drunkards wandered into the crypts and haven't been heard from since. I'll wager a week's pay they'll unleash something unspeakable down here, and I'll get blamed. They always blame the priest. Thank <laughs> you. 
If I survive this, I... Izmir's beard, it's good to see a friendly face. I never thought I'd find my way out of here. You're not that far from the exit. I got separated from my friends. We were drinking at the festival. I guess you could say we overdid it. Then Jofar dared me and Naveen to explore those old catacombs. It was a lark. We didn't expect to find undead right here beneath the city. I'll help you find your friends. I'd be very grateful. Jafar's so drunk he ran off after a Draugr. Thought it was a girl he knew. I hope he didn't try to kiss it. Need another drink. This is the best party I've been to all night. You must be Yofar. Come with me. It's not a party without the Yofar. Found my drunken lords. I'll take them off your hands. Lead them back out. You've no idea. I'll take them from here. Thanks for keeping them safe. Good to know not everyone in this country is defenseless. I should think you've gotten quite enough of running blindly into Draugr filled caves. Let's get out of here. Oh, yes, please. Let's do get out of here. But I wanted to punch Go far. a drawer. Outside is where they keep the mead. An excellent point. Let's be off then. Well, that was easy. Come on, Baral. I am Rainier 
the Destroyer! Meet your doom! You look capable. You look like a capable sort. You haven't been eaten by Draugr, at any rate. What are you doing in these crypts? The name is Melana. This is the entrance to Tomb of Lodor, a necromancer of some renown. I intend to raise and destroy him. If you're willing to assist, I'll see to it that the king rewards you. I did, and I will again once Lodor is destroyed. Will you help me? I'll help you find him. Are you ready to face Lodor? How did you lose your job as Archmage to the King? Let's just say, there are certain magical tombs in King Yorin's library that mages in his employ are forbidden to read. My curiosity got the better of me, and it cost me my job. And you think destroying Lodor will bring you back in fav into favor? Ridding East March of an undead malevolence bent on conquest and domination. I think that a powerful mage from There's the sarcophagus. Open it quickly. I didn't expect Lodor to be so active. I must be certain that Lodor's essence is truly gone. I was afraid of this. Lodor's crown isn't here. What happened to it? It must be nearby. I can feel its dark energy. The undead manifestation of Lodor's lieutenant, Ulfnir Iceblood, guards the antechamber to this room. Perhaps the crown lies with him. Defeat him and search his body. I'll keep searching here.
How are you resisting me? I can't seem to grasp your soul! Is it done? Do you have it? I have the crown, but you look different. It's a protection spell. Lodor's soul is still bound to the crown. Quickly, there is no time. Give it to me. I think I'll hold on to the crown. Give me the crown! Now! No. Then you die! One we shall have together. You are foolish to dabble in such dark matters, mortal. You turned Milana against me. I did nothing. She was planning to betray you from the start. But you, I can't control. It's as if you don't have a proper soul. What a pair we are. Me trapped in my crown. You trapped in your soulless husk. I hope you're better company than Ulfnir. Two minutes. That's how long we were out of the crypt before those two drunken idiots ran off again. To oblivion with them. I'm done playing goat herd. Mm. Screw this. I'm fucking dead, I'm fucking dead. Ah! <laughs> I must survive.
How am I surviving this? Yeah. <laughs> How in the god damn hell am I surviving this? Yeah. You know what? Fuck you and your damn ice magic. I get it. You saved some drunks and got the dead to settle down. You're a big hero, blah, blah, blah. Now you please leave. The only reason I took this job is because I can't stand a living. Fair enough. Fair enough. Alright guys. Well I will end the episode there. Yeah. Um Yeah, so um Hope you all enjoyed this episode guys. And make sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and subscribe to the channel. And we'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out guys.